welcome and welcome back to my channel my name is Ajit this video I'm doing from the kingdom of Eswatini right now I'm in Mbabani city this is Mbabani in the morning this is how the city looks like it's a small and a beautiful city in this small kingdom of Eswatini Eswatini is small and very attractive I arrived here today. I was surprised to see the beauty of this city. And uh, something that I admired here is that although the city is small, things seem to be expensive, especially accommodation and taxis are very expensive here i tried to find a place to sleep you will not imagine or you will not believe a small guest house a room with not good conditions costing 500 I'm not familiar with the name of their currency, but it has the same value like rendis, South African rendis. Let me say costing 500 rendis. And I was not happy with the place. I had to live in search of other places. And to be honest, I didn't succeed because I arrived at around 2 a.m. and I don't know the place. I had to I had to to start looking for other places and it was not easy to find a place. Yeah, Eswatini is small but things are very expensive here. When you come to Eswatini, make sure you come financially prepared to stay in a guest house otherwise you will be stranded here you will not believe in a small city like in Babani you will pay 500 rands for a room with not good conditions I'm not pulling down the seat, but this is the reality of Eswatini. I'm talking about high prices of accommodation. Here's for the beauty of the place. The city is very beautiful, as you can see in this video. And people from Eswatini are good people they know how to welcome visitors they are friendly people kindly subscribe to my channel remember to share this video with your friends i am in eswatini especially in the city of mbabani mbabani is number one in the kingdom of Eswatin in terms of development that my friend is saying that please come 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 he, he was saying that i'm fine and how are you my friend he was saying that he's, okay. he was saying that it is here where we find everything and so everything like what Tell my friends. Everything. 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 And I yeah. and I heard that 
polygamy is compulsory here. Is it true? Yeah, it's true. If you want to live in Eswatin, you have to have two or more wives. Is it true? <laughs> nah, yeah, 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 of course it's, it's our culture. It's your, it's your culture. Yeah, and if, men, if you are uh, uh, fit now, okay. you can have many wives who are also fit. Okay. okay. What is it needed to marry in a Swatin, a Swazi woman? You have to have faith in a friend. Voice. Yeah. Raise, raise your voice. You have to have faith. So you ha we have, you have to have cake. Cake, what is it? Cake, like cows. You have cows. To the bowl, yeah. You have to pay no bowl, I feel like there's nothing for mahala or cows. Really? Yeah. If you don't have cows, yeah, okay. you will not marry anyone. You can marry, but it's not true. Can you raise your voice? You can marry, but it's not true. Okay. okay. You have to make peace with the family. Okay, for you to marry one woman, mm -hmm. how many cows are needed? I needed. Uh, like minima? On, it depends on the beauty. On and the beauty? The, and the, if, you see, if the, the, the lady is educated, yes. Okay, it means uh, the number of cows maybe, maybe 10. to be paid his bride price depends on the level of education and yeah. the beauty. Yeah, and the mindset. Okay, yeah, course, if the girl is intelligent. Yeah, of course, beauty can be seen. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, thank you very much, my friend. Huh? Okay, uh, thank you so much. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. You have heard what is necessary to marry in Swaziland. And uh, this country is very beautiful. The culture is also good because polygamy is part of African culture. And it's a welcome idea in Africa. Africans, even our great-grandfathers, they used to marry more than one wife. That's why in Swaziland they keep this culture till today. So kindly subscribe to my channel. I made this a video to show you Mbabani city in Eswatini. Eswatini is a new name for this country before it was called Swaziland. The king in Swati Fed decided to change the name to Eswatini. So I will end this video here. And uh, once again, make sure you subscribe to my channel and share this video. Right now, I'm at Swazi Plaza, as you can see here. It's a city mall where many shops are located in this place in Mbabani City. So, once again, thank you, and we will see each other in my next video. This is the National Hospital of Eswatini in Mbabani City. This is the largest hospital in the country. Swaziland National Blood Bank.